All right, so got a bit of a impromptu, unexpected live stream happening. As you can see, I'm in the car. Uh, I didn't plan to do this, of course, and I just feel like it's important that I share this world update, energy update, and these kind of waves that come. And I've been I've been speaking to people about this in private message, so it's time for me to live stream about it. Hi, Doreen. Let me share this as always so I can be present. I was just about to start talking and I'm like, no, 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 just share this first, <laughs> share this first. So I was going to, I've been to the beach and sat there, it was too windy, got agitated in the wind and then I was like feeling all this stuff and I was like, ah, I'm like, so we just went for a walk, a coastal walk, not a beach walk because I was a bit over the wind and then and then I was speaking to people and I was like, ah, oh, I think this is collective and I think I need to talk about it because this has been on my mind to talk about as well. And, um, yeah, let me, let me just share this. All right. So let's have a look here. I think I fixed the problem. Goodness me. So we're sitting in the car and we're kind of at the river. That's why I was going to, I was going to do it outside, but it's too windy. Like drove in and I'm like, yes, we can like be, be in the like sea and stuff. And then the wind just, does anyone get agitated by the wind at times? Like I know I do if I'm in it for too long, you know? Okay. Got it sorted. It's letting me post this time. So it's just a wrong setting last time. Okay, so, hi, speak on it, all right, cool, uh, okay, I haven't done a car live stream for ages since I've been on the car, are you okay, Jazz? <laughs> all right, so, this piece that I want to speak about, it, it kind of, it leads into a bit of a vulnerable share, um, and it's kind of what I'm going through, but again, I was like, oh, this is just my stuff. And then I'm like, all these other people are going through something similar. I'm like, no, 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 I need to live stream about this because I think it's very relevant, especially with, you know, the big shakeup that's happening in the world and the big, like, you know, deadly thing that's out there. Um, I also think that a, a lot of people already know this, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. And all right, so I'm just going to stick on topic because <laughs> I could talk about so much. So the reason that I wanted to come on is because for the past maybe two days and it happened again today. So maybe this is going on the third day every. So I'm in Australian Eastern Standard Time, Brisbane. Um, so around, uh, I guess, maybe starting from around 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. like lunchtime but then sort of more so for me it really hits me around 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. roughly and this happened the past couple of days around these times so it's um it's just after 3 p.m. now so you might be watching this and tuning in like does it happen for you around 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. or do you feel it around now which is, you know, just after 3 p.m. my time, right? And what I'm asking you, do you feel, like, what is it that you feel? Like, is it, um, so I get, started to get agitated, like, at the beach, I was at the beach, right? I was very conscious I was at the beach, but I was just not settling. I was just, like, agitated with the wind. So, yep, Dawn gets agitated with the wind as well. Um, and then... Like, and it was, it was a weird feeling, and I was talking to, um... Well, she was an ex client of mine and I was like it reminds me of the feeling of like you know when we're like in a relationship and we feel all this stuff or we we break up in a relationship and we feel all this stuff and we know that it's them right and and I was like it's that sort of a feeling but I'm like I haven't spoken to anyone I'm not at like you know breaking out of an ex or anything like that like you know what I mean I was like oh this is an interesting feeling now, before I decided to do a live stream about this, what I tuned into about it even yesterday for myself and then today as well, because it happened again, but then I got messages asking like, is there something collective going on? And I'm like, yes, 
and no. And the reason I'm saying yes and no, and this is where it starts to get into a vulnerable share. Part of, if you saw my blog this morning, right? Um, I was like, I've lost my purpose. I don't know what I'm doing. And part of this is a huge recalibration. I explained bits of it in that blog, but the vulnerable share bit, I didn't, I didn't put in my blog, right? <laughs> the vulnerable share bit is that, as you probably know, if you've been watching me and stuff like that, I, um, I've been reading lots of the medical medium stuff and I'm, I'm gearing up to do a real strict cleanse. To be honest, I've really been waiting until it warms up here because winter just doesn't do good for me. Um, and it's starting to warm up and I just saw 111 on a car driving past. <laughs> Your thoughts are manifesting rapidly. Should we have a little look at the angel numbers? Um, see how convenient it sits in my car door. <laughs> Um, 111, this number brings you the urgent message that your thoughts are manifesting instantly. Oh, this is an important message, guys. This is so important to what I'm talking about here. This is like so relevant. If you guys have had issues manifesting, if you've been having trouble doing anything right now, this live stream is your answer. Okay. So 111, um, this number brings you the urgent message that your thoughts are manifesting instantly. So keep your mindset focused upon your desires give fearful thoughts, give any fearful thoughts to heaven for transmutation. Now, this is really important because, um, oh my goodness, it's the ferry. I was like, what phone was that? <laughs> I'm at the river. Um, so, okay, let me just stay on topic for a minute. So for me, the 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., really big deal. Now, you guys might know that when, you know, if you're not sleeping properly at night or you're waking up at 2 a.m. Every, every night or what have you, like if you've followed me before, you might know that I'd say to you to look at um, like the traditional Chinese medicine chart, so the TCM chart. And basically the TCM chart, tr traditional Chinese medicine, is a philosophy that our organs in our body um, are active or have their period of time for two hours in a 24-hour cycle. So in a 24-hour cycle, every two hours, a different organ is activated. Now, when a different organ is activated, um, it can be like really weak. And so you can feel tired or sluggish. Like, you know how like at 3 p.m. every day, like people go and reach for another coffee or something. <laughs> That's not why I had a coffee. I'm not tired right now. But anyway, the point is... Um, you know, like there's that like dip in energy or, you know, you might feel it around nine to 10 in the morning and you're like, well, I could go back to sleep, right? So your hormones dipping, like our organs are active at certain times of the day. Now, again, a lot of us know that for waking up at 2 a.m. So we look at the traditional Chinese medicine chart and look at it for why are we waking up at 2 a.m., right? Um, and it's that organ. So by the way, so I think off the top of my head, 2 a.m. is liver time. And so if you're waking up at 2 a.m. every night, roughly, I think it's between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., your liver is overloaded and burdened and it needs a detox. Now, because this was really happening to me between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., I was like, let me just check what that is, right? And it's small intestines. And then from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. is the heart. And so you might feel more emotional around like lunchtime if you've got issues with the heart, um, like physically, if the if the phys organ is physically overburdened, that will happen, um, or and or you'll be feeling the emotions associated with that particular organ. Now, the reason that I'm sharing this and the collective side of things, so you know with what's going on in the world right now and there's 5G and there's, you know, walking antennas, and there's nanotechnology and there's chemicals in the air and there's chemtrails and all the things, right? There's all the things. There's devices. There's Bluetooth. There's all the things, okay? The dawning realization that I've had and the kind of vulnerable piece, like, I don't know why I feel shameful about this, right? And I don't know if it's, it's like shameful, but... I don't, I think just because I'm coming out of such a deep cycle that I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I don't know what it is. I'm just uncomfortable sharing it. I think, <laughs> I think because I'm supposed to be perfect and I'm like, oh, I'm not perfect. I don't, whatever. I don't know what that is. But anyway, the point is my dawning realization, especially listening to medical medium, right? I've, and I've gone through this process, listening to his stuff. Like I really resonate with his content, his, um, you know, philosophies, his teachings, his healing methods, right? 
And it's really been triggering me over the past couple of months because, you know, like all like the health issues or what we look at in a metaphysical reason actually is like your body's full of viruses and parasites and you actually need to clean your fucking body, right? And I'm like being really triggered about that because I think deep down I know that. Before I started online, um, I was like really good raw vegan, like did lots of detoxes, did like a three month parasite cleanse, like was just feeling on top of the fucking world, like just feeling amazing, like, you know, all this stuff, right? And and I've been wondering why I'd been getting triggered by medical medium stuff so much, right? And because I'm like, wow, you know, I'm like, I don't have a purpose because like I'm so into the spiritual aspect, obviously, and the metaphysical aspect of all the emotions, etc. Now I've been sitting with this. This isn't a new revelation. This is like putting all the pieces together today about the energy update and about why people have been going into such dark portals, right? And this is so important. And I understand, you know, like once I've come out the other side of why why does medical medium stuff trigger me and what am I supposed to do now and what's the purpose of my purpose, etc. Um and what I understand, and on my walk just before, it was like it all came in and I was like, yeah, well, that makes sense. I'm like, what I'm here to do combines, you know, definitely healthy body stuff. But what I'm here to do isn't on the planet yet. But his stuff is like reminding me of what I'm doing and putting it together. Like, it's interesting, right? When we look at triggers and when we got triggered by someone, it's actually because it's unlocking something within us that we need to work on, right? I know you guys know that. So, um, all right. So these times, right? When you feel heavy, let me just check these comments. So let me know if you've felt that dark portal that we just went through. Let me know if you've been feeling exhausted or whether you're constantly tired or whether you're just tired at certain times or whether you're actually getting better with your tiredness compared to a couple of years ago, let's say, um, let me know if you've been emotional or like, like what, what have you, what have you been feeling and have you been feeling these waves that I'm talking about? Because um, this next piece is like why we feel it so much, right? So I'm just going to check these comments. I know you guys were sharing stuff before. Um, yeah, so a nice breeze is great, but I get agitated with the wind. Yeah, if I'm in it too long, I'm like, get me out of here, <laughs> which is what was at the beach. Uh, Chantel says, no, I was agitated at the same time. I'm on the West Coast wanting to scream. Yeah, it's interesting, right? These waves. I am in my car. I haven't been in my car for ages. Well, not a live stream anyway. I feel like I'm on the road again. <laughs> Maybe I needed that adventure. No. Just wanted to get this live stream out. This is an important update that came through and I've got my jazz. Are you okay, Jesse? Are you doing okay? Jasmino? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Leanne says yours sits there too. <laughs> so Shari says, I had this uncomfortableness yesterday for almost pre-bleeding feeling. Yeah, interesting, interesting, right? When we look at the shedding and stuff, um, felt like I was getting strangled from the inside. Very interesting, yeah? Very, very interesting. Um, yes, hi, everybody. All right, just checking these things. Where the trendsetters, yes. So Leah says, yes, so tired the last couple of weeks and feel so heavy, yes. Um, Fua says, Fua, I think it's Fua. Um, yes, I just woke up from a nap emotionally drained. Yes, okay. Leanne says, tired lately, feel a little better. Yes. Holly says, tiredness has been unbearable. Yep. Doreen says, I've been depressed since my daughter died. Yep, that's very understandable. Um, I've been tired and spent a lot of time in bed lately. Yes, well, you just lost your daughter. I mean, that's huge. Chantel says, yes, I'm feeling it too. Not the only one. It's collective. Yep. Leanne says, my body has been sensitive to knees, thighs, and boobs. Yes, kind of like, and it's interesting, right? If we look at what's going on with the world stuff and the, the injections and what have you, um, it's it's a, what's it called? A de it's a sterilizing needle, <sighs> de-sexing needle. <sighs> I don't know how to, so you can't have fucking babies. That's, that's what it does, right? Along many other things, which we all know and don't need to talk about right this second. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please send me a message or comment world update below if you would like um, the link and I can show you more stuff on that. Um, so Brenda says, yes, waking up between 1 and 2 a.m. Um, up and up, off and on all night. Yep, tired a lot in the afternoon. Yeah. So 
when we look at the body clock, right, and we look at these specific things, so if you just type into Google like TCM um, body clock chart, it will actually bring up the chart and you can see like, you know, each organ has better websites, so some, you know, some of it are not as good as others, whatever, but you can see the chart and you can check what times you feel tired or exhausted, like, because it's only usually certain times a day. Sometimes you feel like, okay, cool, let's get the day done. And then you hit a wall, right? Check the time and then check the chart. Now, my theory, it's just a theory at the moment, but I've been sitting with it for a couple of days because I'm starting to like do these detoxes like through medical medium and I know the big one's coming and the strict one's coming, right? I personally feel, and, and this is really important message, in a sense that if you're worried about what's happening in the world and what's going to happen in the world, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I'm not saying that out of, um, you know, like bad negative vibes. I'm like reality check, like it's going to get worse before it gets better. But the next 18 months are going to be getting tougher and tougher. Like that's how it feels, right? And, you know, apparently they're going to release the, the virus into the air and a lot of people are going to get sick. And then we will have to take the jab. Apparently, who knows, right? However, it's a survival of the fittest. It's a survival of the healthiest. It's also a survival of the healthiest in your mind, but also in your body. I personally feel that if your body is sluggish and full of chemicals and toxins and you haven't actually cleansed your body and you're still eating shit food, right? I feel that we feel these collective waves more. Now, let me explain. Inside of foods, there's chemicals. You pick up a packet, there's numbers, there's all the things. We all know this, but we all still eat it and consume it. I personally feel that there's nanotechnology in certain foods already out there, yeah? Um, in a sense of like, you know, they say it's in Macca's burgers and stuff. I mean, like, who really knows, right? I want you to take note coming up and monitor these waves for yourself, okay? When you feel tired, sluggish, exhausted, blah, 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 unless you've had like um, Doreen have her daughter pass away, like, you know, there's obviously real big stuff that goes on in our life personally, but then also if it's like just weird and you're feeling it's collective, I want you to tune into this. Ask yourself and check the traditional Chinese medicine chart with your body organ. The next thing I want you to do is ask yourself, what have I eaten in the past 24 hours and in the past week? Have I eaten meat, dairy, and any crap, chocolate, biscuits, stuff that's got preservatives in it, preservatives, oh my god, that, <laughs> can't talk, um, preservatives, <laughs> oh my god, not even trying, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> you want to think I got like ducks of the school because of my English, right? Um, <laughs> So check what you've eaten in the past 24 hours, 48 hours, the past week even, okay? Have I eaten takeout? Have I eaten fast food? Have I eaten, you know, you know, if you have been eating a lot of processed food, packet food, stuff with numbers, wheat, gluten, dairy, like meat, like I personally feel that you will feel the collective waves more because are they collective waves or are they turning up the Gs? You know, I, I always feel at certain times, there's times where it literally feels like they're turning up the 5G. Now, maybe I am wrong. Maybe I am wrong and maybe it's just a solar flare or maybe it's something else. I mean, I, I don't sit there and research all that stuff. I just tune in. But sometimes it feels like that. Now, I personally feel that I feel that stuff more when I've been eating crap, right? And the more that I'm starting to detox my body through medical medium stuff and like I said I haven't started strictly yet but I've been incorporating you know like the lemon juice and the celery juice and like you know like all that you know stuff and eating more meals and like over the past six months I've been like cleaning up my diet and just living out in the middle of nowhere it's kind of easier to do because it's not convenient right so it's really helpful to help me break all these cycles um I see why I'm out there blah blah I don't want to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> but I've been feeling my body starting to detox and then I'm starting to support the detox more and I find that when I you know obviously I detox but I'm not like I said I'm not doing it strictly and I find that I feel more shit and I feel the energetic waves more strongly when I've eaten crap again or just eaten dairy or you know and stuff that's not good for my body now it might be like a no-brainer we'll just don't eat stuff that's not good for your body and I'm like yeah well I just eat what I want right 
same time I am gearing up mentally, physical, physiologically, emotionally, the whole thing to doing a big strict detox soon, right? Like very soon, I feel like it's starting to get warmer and that's ultimately what I've been waiting for. Um, so, so Chantel says, I believe we're going to transmute the nano energy to heal us instead of hurt us. Maybe we should ask for Archangel Michael 100% Light to transmute nanotech. Yes, yes. But it also comes down to taking radical responsibility about our vessel. This is our vessel. You know, it's all well and good to say, hey, Archangel Michael, can you do this and make this fine for me when your liver's shit and you're still like eating all the junk food? Like, eh, it, it's a two way street. Do you know what I mean? Like, there is a certain level of responsibility for us to care for our vessel and to detox our vessel. Our, our liver is already overloaded. And then if they are going to release a virus into the air, you know, like they're already doing chemtrails, but if they're going to amp that up and personally, like I said in my other live stream or whenever it was the other day, I don't personally feel like they have flicked the switch and turn it on yet. The ones that's in the body, right? I don't think that they've turned that switch. So, um, yeah, Archangel Metatron meditation does help with this. Yeah, so Archangel Metatron meditation is activating the dodecahedron vortex, um, which he told me and he said it, you know, because I was like sacred geometrics, like sacred geometry, like sacred geometrics. And he's like, no, sacred geomet <laughs> geometrics. So it literally protects our energy field and ourselves from the 5G. But again, I'm like, you know, I still feel those waves really strongly. But if I detox my body and I get cleaner, I don't get affected by it as much. And I guess the reason that I'm really like, you know, what I've come into with that is because I'm like, wow, I'm detoxing my body. Like, yeah, I'm going to feel shit like while that stuff comes out. But the more I read with medical medium stuff and the viruses that are already in our body and the pathogens and the, the neurotoxins that those viruses and pathogens that are in our liver that are like in meats and in dairy products and all and feed the pathogens in our gut. And if our gut hasn't been cleaned or our liver hasn't been cleaned, like this releasing all these neurotoxins and neurochemicals at certain certain times of the day mind you um and and that is like um like symptoms that he was listing off i'm like wow that is so interesting and then I, okay here's the crux of it here is the fucking crux of it are you ready for this some of you might not know what i'm talking about but some of you do okay if you do not know what i'm talking about there's a whole web page i've dedicated to learning all about this okay so um, here's the crux. When we look at the human history, okay, and we go all the way back, spirituality has been, I want to say, the flagship of devotion to keep people trapped as well, right? You know how they've said this, okay? Now, I've gone through a big process about this, but just let me talk about this bit for a second. Um... The crux of it is that if we look at metaphysics and all the emotional reasons, while they're very true, right? We resonate with them. We're like, oh, that makes total sense. And we have shifts and everything like that. When we look at the metaphysics and spirituality as a tool to go to, to help you understand and grow your consciousness, and then also to you know, heal and grow. And whilst these tools work, I personally feel it gets to a point where we're like, it doesn't work. Now, yes, we need to dig out deeper subconscious wounds, but then it's also our physical vessel, right? And if we're full of toxins and if we're full of all these viruses and pathogens and we're not cleaning them out, then we are literally going to stay on that stagnant stuck cycle and not shift our vibration, right? Especially with the foods and, and the big companies that these four people that own the globe have created to keep us trapped and controlled and on these treadmills right we can do all the spiritual healing that we want right and when we do all the spiritual healing that we want it's like it, it it's a, like I said it's a two-way street it's a bit like when I say it's our it's our we need to ask for help from the spirit world but if we don't take action there's only so much that can happen because it's, it's a two-way street it's not like we're gonna sit here and like okay now I'm manifesting my symbiote and open my eyes and I'm in it like we're not at that level of consciousness yet like I mean maybe some people are but I'm like I wouldn't be here on this planet in the 3d realm if I was already at that level where I can tell tele the teletransport or whatever right you know what I mean like so 
when we look at the the layers and the depths that they have kept us trapped in society right and and this is why it's been such a big process for me in like going wow my purpose and you know and it's interesting because i've you know medical medium has been around for a while and i've only just started getting into his stuff like you know more and more i'm obviously ready for it because what i'm learning i'm like this is deep in the body and this is deep in the um what's it called in the i guess entrapment that society has been raised in through the foods we eat to the schools we go to to the the way we're supposed to think to the mind control to the you know what i mean like this is deep if you really want to win this war you will start cleaning your body and you will start you know choosing the different pieces that are going to enable that now you know i can sit here and say you need to clean your body and that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that if you feel stuck maybe the next point is being able to start moving through the food issues right and the foods that you eat and the foods and then cleaning your body right now this is easier for other people and it's easier not easy for some it's taken me this long and i'm still not ready for a full detox yet like why because it brings up all the emotional crap that we're eating to suppress it in the first place like that is why like did you know that even eating like fatty or crispy oils or crispy chips has a different emotional like nurture compared to eating like fluffy bread or like each food has its own emotional component let alone the like viruses that it's feeding and the symptoms that that virus then gives off and you get brain fog or you get you know tired at one o'clock or like do you know what i mean like it's fucking deep right so yep and genetically modified foods exactly right so let me just check here hi penny um okay just checking here so just looked on the 5g coverage map my house is a little tiny section where there is no coverage um yeah so telstra's definitely got it all um yeah telstra so they've covered the entire sunshine coast now so Leanne says, yes, I like crunchy stuff when I'm angry. Exactly, right? So they all give you a different, you know, like thing as well. All right, so what's the point that I'm wanting to say here? Does anyone have any questions about what I said? Because I know I just went pretty deep. Um, so I'm just checking that I'm covering what I wanted to say on the title. Why dipping? Oh, yes, why the excuse me why the dipping heavy dark waves are so strong and what you can do about it okay and the vulnerable share so the vulnerable share part for me is i'm like wow my body's really needing a detox and i've known that for a while right and all the moving and everything like that and i'm just like i'm almost ready and you know as i said i've been doing all that and so you might obviously hear me share more about that and my journey obviously with it but i've just noticed the connection and the like you know like coming up in the next couple of years like who knows what the world's going to turn into right but i feel like the way that we can really support ourselves and our life and get through this ultimately um you know i'm always i'm always a big person for like nothing can affect you you can transmute and transform anything but there is a certain level of radical responsibility that you have to take in cleaning your energy in cleaning your body in cleaning your house in in taking radical responsibility for all aspects of your life it's divine step number one of the life 12 divine steps awakening your life purpose it's honesty it's being honest with every area of your life right you guys will probably know sitting here if you're like you know emotional eating or if you just consistently buy the same junk foods because they you know that's just what you eat right but when you really come down to it and you look at oh yeah i get headaches and i get this and that and we can blame it on the moon and we can do all these things when ultimately like when was the last time you've cleaned your body and if you haven't it's kind of like well actually your body's full of pathogens and viruses and have you actually looked at that aspect as well because yes 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 the moon affects us we feel the astrological events we feel the solar flares we feel all of that nothing can affect us right but we have to be in a certain level of power in ourselves, in our body in our consciousness to be able to hold that so it doesn't right we might feel it but we don't get entangled in it we don't go down the rabbit hole with it we don't go down the spiral the negative spiral with it right <sighs> So does anyone have any questions about what I've said? Because like I said, I know I went deep with that. Um, is anyone's stuff coming up? Do you feel uncomfortable with what I've said? <laughs> Shari says, the moon also stirs the parasites. Oh, well, that's interesting given <laughs> what we just felt coming through that moon. I was just like, man, that was a really strong moon. Really strong moon. 
so and when you detox as well you will get worse before you get better too because that that is a big part of you know like all the crap coming out you know i always say when we clean out a cupboard it's um it's also like everything's out on the floor and it's all a big mess until we put it all back right so I think I've shared, it is an uncomfortable truth, isn't it? It's a very uncomfortable truth. I've probably triggered a lot of you guys on this, on this thing. But I, it was a message that I really needed to share, right? Because um, I've been talking about it and thinking into it and feeling into it and walking through it myself. And I'm like, I need to share this. Like, this is the next level of working through stuff. Like, it is, right? Um, so Chantel says, what do you think about blood types, especially O negative? Yeah, so um, I do think that it's good to know your blood type. It's it's handy information to understand the different blood types and definitely like definitely does, it is important to have an awareness of. Do I flo follow the blood type diet necessarily? No. Um, so again, it's just whatever works for you, right? Leanne says, yeah, we just did that womb intestinal clearing in Transcendence Reality Society. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a big one, right? Yep. In the inner circle, we went through that journey. That was freaking phenomenal. That was next level phenomenal. Yep. Doreen says, I'm RH negative. Yep. Chantel says, it's considered the universal blood type. Yeah, well, I'm AB negative. So, yeah, there is. Um, I know that O is the most common one, I think. Yeah. Alright guys, so if you need support with this, of course, um, my inner circle is open and this is where you get access to everything that includes uh, working with me for six months. We get unlimited access via text, via uh, voice message, unlimited psychic readings, um, everything that I share publicly, you get first. The inner circle gets my Un undivided attention in a way and I'm there for you whenever you need me there's phone calls there's distance healings we've got reality reconfiguration sessions there's everything that you need to be able to work through whatever is coming up plus accelerate your life purpose so we work on healing we work on finding what it is you're meant to do or if you're clear about what you already know you're meant to do it's really accelerating and amplifying that it's taking your psychic skills to the next level it's helping you understand all the intricate pieces about your psychic development and how that works and how it puts together and how it implements into your life whether you actually do this stuff for work or not we take that and we amplify your gift what you're here to do whether you're in a normal job or you're actually you want to move into this sort of work right so you also get access to every course that I release every meditation every everything it's like you're the VIP in this space so the life purpose accelerator is open now it will only be open for not too much longer the link is in the title of this live stream or you can send me a message if you've got any details about it got any questions about it um, so yeah just send me a message and Chantel says Thank you. I've been learning all about the past few weeks. So grateful for you. Yes, you're so welcome. So lovely to connect with you guys and for me to be out at the beach. I think I needed water. <laughs> I think I needed the water because I'm now sitting at the river. It was too windy to stand out there and do it. All right, guys. I love you and leave you. Bye.